Debbie Elliott, writer, thinker, philosopher. Debbie Elliott, can you tell me a little bit about your recent book on artificial intelligence? Is it going to take over the world? Well, I had a fear that AI, artificial intelligence, was going to take over the world for a long time. You see all these science fiction films where the AI and the robots come and take over humanity and the hero has to stop the robots coming. And I thought, well, maybe AI is not going to take over the world and humanity and destroy us, but instead will be here to help us. So my book uh, comes from that angle of an AI uh, symbiote uh, helping humans become cyborgs that then go on to try and evolve into the next species of humanity. Is that what AI is going to be, do you think, an, a next stage in evolution? I have a feeling it is. At first I didn't want it to be that. But from what I can see from all the scientific research they're doing, and I can see how uh, we have the prosthetics and the, all the amputees are getting these electronic, robotic, uh, uh, well, prosthetics to take over their bodies. I can see that is the way of the future of becoming Perhaps as the body dies, we can replace it with a cybotic part or a artificial intelligence part that links our neural uh, networks to our brain so that we can then just keep replacing ourselves. All our different organic parts will slowly die off, instead get a nice new uh, leg or, hu or arm or organ and continue to live forever and ever. Yes, I've heard that our body image for ourselves is more fluid than how we are created with two arms and two legs in, in that standard version of humanity, that actually our brains can comprehend quite different physical uh, extensions and functions. Is that something that has been part of your book? What, what is your book? Is it uh, fiction? or? Uh, it or is fiction, but I have uh, done a lot of research on it and tried to dis study how all these cybernetics are coming into play in today's world and uh, looking at the transhuman side of things because that would probably be the next involvement. It doesn't necessarily mean we'd be AI controlled. We might become transhuman and network with the AI and uh, becoming transhuman would be slowly taking, like I was saying, different parts of your body and replacing them with robotic parts that would be linked up to your brain so that we can still operate them. But if they can do that, they can probably also implement parts into your own brain or your uh, conscious, well not your consciousness, but your brain to be able to work with the AI. So the artificial intelligence and humans may well merge together. Yes, I mean I do believe that as people we already enhance ourselves in many ways. I mean what is for example a musical instrument but an extension of, of what we can do. And if we use that kind of analogy then, yes, then having um, or oh, maybe someone could have a guitar put to them, like uh, implanted into them, so that they can then be the instrument as well. Who knows where this will go? We don't necessarily have to be just a humanoid shape. It could become anything if it's just the AI with our body. But the question is, is what would happen with our consciousness? Will our consciousness also work still with AI? Does consciousness go on forever? Is your book uh, a fiction that's got a standard fiction in the sense of having characters and a central protagonist or is it a, a more uh, modernist uh, structure? It is with characters, it's actually also to do with time travel as well but the time travel element comes with the artificial intelligence side of the book because it's looking at um, how people are going to evolve and how some people are fighting against the artificial intelligence and how some people want to work with the artificial intelligence that is coming. Will it be published like a novel? Yes. And can we know the title? It's going to be called Monkey Mind, Robot Body, The Myth of AI. And how we will, will we be able to get hold of Monkey um, Mind, Robot Body? I'm hoping to do it on Amazon. Hopefully it'll be published by the time this article comes out and um, on ebooks and a paperback version. Well, we'll be able to read perhaps a segment of it uh, on a blog or... Yes, I think I'll probably do the first chapter onto a blog so that people can get an idea of where it's going. It's in four parts, so it's going to be... The first part's going to be set in this time and the next three parts are set in the future. Thank you, Debbie Elliott. Look forward to that.
monkey mind. Robot body. <laughs> Robot body.